What's going on guys? Uh, so I put this video together because I wanted to let you know if you built a homemade moat, homemade boat, um, or if you have an old John boat that's been passed down the family and uh, you know the, the title is lost and you need to get a home built boat title. Uh, a lot of people, I had an Instagram reel recently on Lightning Capital Living that's kind of taken off. It's like 140,000 views now and people are asking me, well, how do you do this? Can you, you send me a message on how to do this? So I put this video together hopefully to help you. Um, once you've finished your boat, it has to be done, you know, either the, whether you have a motor or not, it needs to be completely done. You need to call FWC Dispatch. They're at 407-275-4150. It's going to be an automated, uh, uh, automated message or whatever, and you just got to hit option seven and that'll connect you to an operator. Uh, she will, he or she will say, Hey, listen, you know, we can go ahead and get an officer over to your house. They do come out to your house. So you don't have to tow the boat anywhere. And they'll reach out to a local uh, agent and or, or officer, and, and they'll call you back in a couple days and set up an appointment. Before they get there, you need to fill out, you need to print off two forms from the website from the DMV. One is called the Vessel Statement of Builder. Uh, it's for home built boat titles. You basically just got to fill out your information, how long the boat is, what kind of materials you use, and by having this form filled out ahead of time really helps the FWC officers when making this uh, a pretty simple and easy process. It only, I mean, it only took like 12 or 13 minutes for them to come out, take some pictures and everything. The other form you need is the HSMV 82040. It's the form that's gonna go to the DMV uh, because same same kind of information. What, what materials did you use? How long is the boat? Uh, and this is applicable to boats that are over 16 feet in length. Now, when the FWC comes out, they take a bunch of pictures of everything, really the motor, the serial number. They just wanna make sure that you didn't like grind away somebody else's hull identification number and make a boat yourself and trying to steal it essentially by titling it under your name. Uh, keep receipts of your build. You need to make sure you keep receipts of the main, you know, if you use plywood or if you use fiberglass or paint or whatever material you used to build a boat, you need to keep those receipts so that way they can prove that you paid sales tax uh, I kept the receipt for everything that I, you know, big purchases and uh, the motor itself to make sure you paid tax on the motor. They come take pictures, uh, sign off similar form that looks like the vessel statement of builder with their approvals on it. It has the length, it has the officer's information. They document all that. You go to the DMV the next day. And uh, I mean, if I walked in at 8 a.m., it took me roughly 20 minutes from start to finish. And I was able to get my registration numbers, and a uh, I left them let them keep the title on electronically, on their end because I'm not going to sell the boat anytime soon. But they they did offer <clears throat> if you wanted to have a title printed off right there, or if you wanted one of the really fancy you know title forms mailed to you, uh, they would do that. There were three options, so I just said I don't really need it because I'll end up losing it. So I left it with the DMV electronically. Uh, but here we're going to jump over to. The actual inspection where the officer came to my house to look at the skiff and then the DMV to show you how easy the process was. So FWC has come to overview the paperwork and take a look at the skiff. Um, just got to make sure you have these two forms filled out. One is the vessel statement of builder and the other for the DMV is the, um, I think it's like the HS, oh, it's the HSMV 82040. So these are the two pieces of paperwork you got to fill out. Keep receipts of your build. So that way they can verify that A, you pay taxes on it, and B, I didn't steal this from someone's boat and just kind of modify it and make it my own. Keep the sales tax for the receipt on your motors. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty quick process, and then I should be able to go to the DMV and get registration. We can put this thing on the water. And that's it, folks. Uh, Getting registered in Florida, pretty simple process for a home-built boat. As long as you do the steps you're supposed to do as far as filling out the two forms, getting FWC to come do an inspection, and uh, you know going to the DMV to get your paperwork. Uh, just got to get, waiting on Amazon, my uh, the actual sticker decals are delivering today. I've got my registration number. I can pop on the sticker, and we are 100% legal and able to use the skiff. So looking forward to it. Um, next up, I got to change out the springs, the axle, the tires, and I'm adding on a four foot extension to this because it sits really close to my truck. So thanks for watching this video. I know this is a quick one on just how to get a boat registered in Florida if you have a home built title or homemade boat. Um, 
stay tuned because we're gonna have another video where I get the drone up and, and we do a little, some running videos of the skiff. Uh, the motor has 30 minutes on it, which is basically just idling in a, a bucket. So I gotta break the motor in and uh, we can run this bad boy.